I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will show you a very easy method of finding end behavior from the given equation. So we need to find end behavior from the equation. We have two different equations here. I have taken rational functions in this particular video. The first one is a rational function 5 over x plus 1. The other one is the function 1 over x square plus 1. You need to write down the end behavior of these functions from the given equation. Now what is end behavior? End behavior is the behavior of the graph of the function as x becomes negatively large value or x becomes negatively or positively large value. So we could write it like this x approaches negative infinity that means it is approaching a very large negative value. What happens to y? what y approaches that is what we're trying to figure out and what happens when x approaches positive infinity in that case what value does y approach right so this is what we're trying to figure out for the given equations now one method of course is to graph so what you can do is you can always graph so when you sketch a graph you can see what value it approaches let me show you a graph of this function it is vertical asymptote at minus 1 right so that is how it is denominator if I write x equals to minus 1 it becomes 0 so that gives you a vertical asymptote so this vertical asymptote is for x equals to minus 1 now we know it is a translated reciprocal function so if I write x equals to 0 what do I get for 0 we get 5 over 1 which is positive 5 so that means this half on the right side is the positive half of this reciprocal function so I could sketch a function like this right so that is the nature we know the characteristics of reciprocal function so we can approximately sketch the graph so from this graph which has a y intercept at 5 we can clearly see that as x approaches negative infinity y approaches 0 and as x approaches positive infinity y also approaches 0 you'll also notice that in the first case y approaches 0 from the negative side so at times we write negative here and in the second case it approaches 0 from the positive side so we write positive here right so that is not a must but it's always a good practice to write like this so sketching a graph shows you the result and then easily you can write down the answer but at times it may be difficult to sketch the graph so what is the alternate alternate is calculate the value so what now we are going to do is we know negative large value could be like negative thousand right so if I replace x with negative thousand that is to say if I write what is the value of the function r of minus thousand right so r of minus thousand we can calculate so that will be 5 divided by within brackets uh, we can write 1 minus thousand right bracket close is equal to we get a negative value convert that to decimals negative it is it is equals to negative 0 0.005 so we can say it is a very very small value but it is negative in nature so that gives us the result 0 but from the negative side so it's round to 0 is that okay similarly you could also calculate what is the value of the function for plus 1000 so if I write plus 1000 here then I get 5 divided by 1001 right so that is 1000 plus 1 and that is a positive large value I mean small value which is 0 0.0049 something right very close to 0 but positive in nature so that is how you could actually get the end behavior by simple calculations correct so we'll adopt this method to answer the second question so let's calculate what is f of minus thousand and what is f of plus thousand right for the given function so in this case f of minus thousand will be you know thousand square is going to be positive right so it's going to be one divided by within bracket we can write 
again a bracket minus thousand bracket close square so and then plus one bracket close so this bracket is for the outside term and that gives you a number which is very very small but positive do you see that 0, 0.000 something but it is positive right so you you kind of get it, it approaches zero if i replace this with plus thousand then what happens then also we get one divided by within brackets uh, one thousand square plus one so we'll get the same value right it's kind of zero point zero 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 something right very very close to very very close to zero so we could say that the end behavior here is that when x approaches negative infinity y approaches zero but from the positive side and when x approaches i mean okay let me write x approaches positive infinity y approaches zero from the positive side some of you can sketch this graph also when you sketch the graph Oh, this graph is not very easy to sketch okay now if x is 0 you get 1 right we get 1 now you'll notice that always the function is positive right so if you take some more values of x which could be any real number you'll get a graph which is kind of like this right so it is approaching 0 from the positive side you see how much different these two graphs are so I wanted to highlight that if you slightly change the equation, nature of the graph really changes, right? And second part of this is how easy it is to find end behavior by evaluating value of the function for a large negative number or for a large positive number. Especially for multiple choice questions, it really helps. I am Anil Kumar and I hope you loved this tip. Thank you and all the best.